Ya estamos bien, ya estamos recuperados, ya estamos puta madre. ¿Dónde mierda tengo la...? ¿Segura? Ay. ¿Qué tal? Hola Arthur, ya estoy recuperado, ya estoy mejor. Ahora sí podemos hacer secundarias y todo lo que tú quieras. Hostia, Paula, eh, pa pa parece que se huela. ¿Sabes de... de qué me han dado una... una key? Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys, hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. My... You provoked them, Mr. Morgan! They ain't provoked, they're just wolves! Do something, Mr. Morgan, help! You wanted wolves? You got wolves, Mr. Mason! ¿Ves? Así cambia todo. We might have kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. 
You take care now. And you too, sir. Ah, just checking this equipment. If only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. Vale. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. So, you think that photograph will come out? I can't say with certainty, but I'm hopeful, sir. I'm due some good luck, no? <laughs> Carry on like this. I'm not sure you are. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place. And neither do wolves. <laughs> the only trophy I need is a photograph. And I hope it catches on. Thank you again. Very well. Bam bam ¿Y qué va a comer usted? Muchito rico. Hey, this here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Not looking to interfere with any sensitive financial matters, I'll leave you to it. Hey, we said to scram. No me de tanto la pena. That's right. Keep on now. What the hell? Whoa! Howdy. Well, you're taking too damn long anyway. God damn it, this here's a proper safe. It ain't no piece well, of candy. Well, I'm tired of watching you go on and on. And I'm tired of your goddamn oh, point. Now you won't get mean. Huh? Get mean? When I get mean, you'll know it. Oh, yeah? Uh, all right. Woo! No trouble all at all. Right. You took your damn time at least. Slow for you. I'm happy to keep your share. 
I'm just saying for a minor. You ain't the best with a hammer. You ask me why no one likes you. Nah. No, no merece tanto la pena. No, no suele haber casi nada ahí. Solo... A lo mejor encontramos un, un par de cientos, ¿sabes? Pero es que... Tampoco... Tampoco es una cosa que digas... Es que un par de cientos merece la... No. Ahora mismo 22, pero no, no es problema. Tenemos toda la munición de... Toda, toda la munición que necesitamos, tenemos todo. ¿Sabes? Es que, eh, es que no sabía que te habías ido y antes te, te he hablado justo. Eh, a que no sabes de. Pa, pa, parece que, que nos escuchen. ¿Sabes. De, de qué me han dado una key? De un Conan. Es tú, que ese tipo de juegos no me... No me llaman tampoco, ¿sabes? Pero me, me, me hizo como gracia y digo... Te, te lo tenía que decir. Before you come any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? You wanted money. Just a little. Just a little. You already owe me a lot. I am not well. I think I'm dying. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks. You are a heartless little swine. You really are. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. 
Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Ahora tú y yo nos vamos a ir a cazar. Después de que me termine este quisito. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher it. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Que quito bisotes, ¿sabes? O sea. Good job. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Perdón, Bisonte. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Ah. Look, bison shot and left for dead. It looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know, but I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right, lead the way. Been dead a couple of days at least. Shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison ah, on the hill blow. to the right. <laughs> Come on. Shot and left the dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Oh, 
haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. What a damn waste. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Con la nariz. <coughs> okay. You see anything? Allí. I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? <laughs> yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Esto. Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. Kill him. All right. I'll get out of here. Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Es que más cruel así. Vale. No hay nada más.
putting it, James. Well, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> All right, boy. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly, you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Ha! Easy. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time.